We are, as far as I'm concerned, in the midst of artistic greatness. I hope you were able to look at the exhibit and enjoy it um, and, and really think about it. And, uh, and we'll talk more about it as this, this, this afternoon goes on. There are why it is here and the significance of it. I'd like to introduce at this time the curator of Crocker Art Museum, Scott Shields. First of all, I want to say welcome to the Crocker and thank you very much for coming. It's wonderful to have you all here. And this is a show that I, I didn't think originally would be happening here. And I'm so glad that it is. And I'll tell you why I just said that. I first came to know Gong because of his piece called Life's Crossroad. And he invited me to, to go see it. And I was impressed. And I thought it was a really terrific piece. And a few months later, he said, you know, I'm working on something else. Um, I'd like to have you come and talk to me about it. And it's called Site 2801. And he was interested in the Crocker exhibiting it. And when I went, I, I went knowing it would be a wonderful thing. But I went thinking I'm going to have to tell him this is not something we can do because we are booked out until 2014, almost into 2015. And to get a show on the schedule is really, really hard. And so I went thinking I was going to tell him no. And then he showed me what he was doing. And he showed me some of the soldiers. And he showed me the concept. And I said, we really have to do this. It was. It became very clear that we have to do this. Um, and that's why I say it almost didn't happen, but I'm thrilled that it's downstairs. It's a piece that's drawn a lot from Gong's childhood, which was one of, as you, many of you know, political persecution. His parents were intellectuals um, and labeled political dissidents, and they were forced to move to a poverty-stricken village and work the land, and that's where Gong was born. Site 2801 is based on the army of China's first emperor, 2,000 years old, more than 2,000 years old. But it is meant to be viewed now from the vantage point of the future, from the year 2801. And he has included in it not only the missiles and the newborn infants, but there are also contemporary soldiers, 10 contemporary soldiers marching within the ranks of the historic soldiers. And if you haven't seen those, you should look, them, look for them when you're downstairs. And it's a message to, to tell us how really very little has changed. In 2,000 years of empire building, we're still doing the same things, just on a much more grand level. And it's, that's a difficult message, but it's not without hope. He's included newborn infants, and they have the faces of old men, so you have the wisdom, but the, the babies, and that's, that's your symbol of hope. And that if we reconsider our actions, that perhaps we might promote change, and that things in the future, when we look at them from the vantage point of 2801, that you know, our children's children will have something to look forward to, and that there is still time to make those changes. So he's asking us to contemplate our behavior and to hold ourselves more accountable in the present. And that's why it's such an important piece. And it was my honor to work with him on this, and I just want to thank him for doing a Herculean amount of work, not only on the piece itself, but on its installation and getting the work here and installing it. It's truly incredible for us, and I hope incredible for you. And with that, I will, I will turn it back over to our host is Sacramento State's Art Department, and here today is the chair, and I'd like him to come up and say a few words as well, Daniel Fry. Long actually gave me a statement to uh, read with regard to the uh, piece downstairs. I had met him maybe about two years ago when he uh, uh, wouldn't look at what was going on at the university. And I had taken him around and shown him uh, what spaces we had, and he looked at our Else Gallery, and actually put up uh, the, uh, the show, the installation, Life's Crossroads. It was the first time in the university, at least as far as the art department, that we used the courtyard as a place to put sculptures. So it was something that was very unique and uh, something that we very much enjoyed. Let me read the uh, state options and outcomes. The piece represents human history and crucial questions regarding life, suffering, and death. Gong believes there is still time to make changes. He is honored as the first contemporary Chinese artist to accept the Crocker Museum of Art's invitation to exhibit his installation project, Site 2801. In the future, he will continue to follow his passion in exploring the human condition. He hopes his art can provide a fresh vision for our country from his point of view. 
He hopes his art can contribute to social and harmony, uh, social harmony and stability through the stage of the Crocker Museum of Art. Thank you. Here today is the chair of the State Art Council, Scott Hex. Scott? Thank you. Actually, I'm not the chair, I'm the deputy director, but uh, maybe someday I will be. It's prophetic. Um, I wanted to say that, that uh, I'm very honored to be here today. It's, um, Dong has uh, somewhat of a, a, a neighborly relationship to the Arts Council, having a studio in Midtown, very near where our offices are. He's invited our staff on a number of occasions to come and experience his work, experience his creative process. And for us, uh, as a state agency involved with the arts, it's very uh, gratifying for us when we're able to go to an artist's studio and to visit with them and to really experience a creative process. Uh, he is to be commended. This work is absolutely magnificent. Uh, kudos, too, to the Crocker staff, to Lyle and Scott and their team uh, for bringing this work to the museum uh, with its the, the, the ancient references, the contemporary references, or this futuristic idea, and to place it in this antique setting is just wonderful. And I think it will really lend itself to a very compelling experience for the museum visitor. And again, we're very, very pleased to be here, and I commend you for your work. Thank you. Of honor is the, one of the first, if not the first, founder of the Chinese Culture Foundation, Vicki Beaton, who is here on behalf of Congressman Dan Lundgren. Good afternoon. I'm very, very honored to be here to uh, say congratulate to my dear friend Gong Yao Bin and his family. He's a very creative artist, as you can see, and a very uh, modest uh, person. That's why I I'm doing my part, try to let the community know that the, everybody can come here to enjoy his artwork. I'm honored that I have this to present this to our today's artist, Mr. Gong Yao Bing. State, Senate, State Senator Leland Yi, the Chinese Community Secretary General, Andrew Lan. My name is Andrew Lan. I'm very honored to be here representing State Senator Leland Yi, Y-E-E. -E. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity for me to come here to join all of you. I uh, may not remember everything in the future, but I'm sure I will never forget about this moment. Thank you very much. Okay. We have we have the honor of having Sacramento County Supervisor Jimmy Yee here. Hey. Yes, my name is Jimmy Yee, and the last name is also spelled Y. -E. <laughs> but I'm very honored to be here to present this proclamation to the phone. Uh, the one thing I, I, when I put this together, I found out he was from Gong Chow, and that is where my grandparents came from, so I automatically, instantly feel like we're related. Anytime you're very close to each village, we call each other village cousins. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, I want to say to this uh, group here that city and county of Sacramento, it is very honored to have your exhibit here because this is the first location for his exhibit in the United States. So at least thank you for Putting together this proclamation, I, I was able to read a lot of things into it. And I just couldn't understand some of the things in it. But once you look at the exhibit, it becomes very clear and evident that 
Mr. Gong or Gong has uh, sent a message through his way of, of, of and uh, I still remember it when my daughter visited China to visit the, the location of the warriors. She brought back a lot of the replicas, and I have six of the replicas sitting in my house. And, uh, so I'm very proud now that uh, I've seen your exhibit. I would go home and I would treasure it much more. It would have a lot more meaningful to it. And so on behalf of the Sacramento County Board of Supervisors, I want to present this proclamation to God for your excellent work. And the school board is Daryl Wu. Yeah. This opportunity, congratulations, Mr. Gong. I don't have a proclamation, and my na last name is spelled W O O. <laughs> um, unfortunately, for the Sacramento City Unified School District, we had to cut $29 million from our budget, and that included our arts program. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that our children get an opportunity to come down here to see this exhibit, particularly the Asian Americans, um, because through art, they can understand and appreciate, I hope, where they have come from and where they are going. So, congratulations and thank you for having me up here. Sherman. I am humbled and proud to be here today. I uh, grew up right here on 4th and P Street, and we used to come over here, look in, wander through the rooms, and that's when it was free. And <laughs> I really enjoyed the artwork, and to be here in this room, if you just look around, do a, a little circle here, and look at the beautiful artwork that's here in our presence today. Years ago, it was not as ex expansive as it is now, but uh, with Mr. Gong bringing his exhibit here, I know it's gonna draw many, many more people and many, many more uh, patrons and sponsors because it always can use a little bit of cash. <laughs> so, so we can make things better for those that uh, really need to have their exhibit here but really don't know how. That's what Crocker Art Gallery has always been to me, a place where you can go sit, look, and very quietly appreciate the artwork that's in every room of this uh, building. It's just, it's beautiful, and with the renovation, I am so proud that the city of Sacramento and the county of Sacramento have done and gone this far with improving the Crocker Art Gallery. At one point, it looked like it was, you know, falling apart, and uh, no one really cared, but you know what, there are, there are some souls out there that really took it to heart, and they did something about it, and that, to me, I wanted to say thank you to many of you that are here today, I'm sure. Now to get on to what I, my purpose here today is, uh, uh, is to give a certificate of recognition to Mr. C uh, uh, Yuban. I, uh, I, I can read the whereases and stuff, and we, but I don't want to keep you because a lot of you are standing and it's a long afternoon. But I will read the last paragraph because it says, Now therefore be resolved that I, Sophia Sherman Council Member of the City of Elk Grove, California, join the community in recognizing the talent and perspective of Gong Yuban and commend his artistic expression, creating a shared medium to reflect on the human condition and to inspire ourselves individually and our society collectively to work towards a brighter future. Sign this 10th day of March, year 2012. The internationally, internationally well-known artist, Yubin Gong. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for Quaker Museum, for people helped me. Uh, but, uh, but I couldn't find the right words to express my appreciation. I think my language level just as five years old kids, <laughs> but uh, my work seemed like an old man have a lot of big words inside, everyone can see. <clears throat> I'm new to America. I hope my art can make a little different of art vision and south to this country through my different experience journey in my life. I hope my project can contribute our social harmony and stability through the state 
of a quack art museum. <clears throat> Most artists like to say, art is so fun. It is not true for me. It is very painful. Thank you so much, everyone come here. Thank you so much, spend the weekend time.